Okay, we're gonna uh, still building this deck here. Um, we're redoing it, and actually, it turns out we can't reuse the stairs. They're already pretty rotted, so we're gonna build some new stairs. Um, so there's two ways you can build stairs. Uh, we're gonna show you the fastest way, um, especially if you don't have a lot of uh, construction skills. You just take the old stairs and you put them, you put them on a two by twelve, because that's what stringers. The stairs are they're called stringers uh, underneath of them. But you're just going to put it on there. So you see, I already done it, but you're just going to trace. You're going to trace around here. You want to make sure you're even all the way here. Okay. There you go. And then you're just going to trace right there. Not missing that corner. So. And then, uh, so these are the old rotted ones. As you see, they're falling apart. I can't reuse them, put new deck of boards on. So I gotta rebuild them. So that's kind of the cheater's way, but I mean, if you got the old stairs, you might as well. But if you're building a brand new deck, you can't do it this way. You're gonna have to rebuild the steps from scratch. The other way is you take a tape measure, take a tape measure and you measure the old steps. So here we got the rise. You want, you want you no know, two numbers. You got to know the rise, which is going to be six and three quarter. Uh, I don't know if you want to zoom, it. but it's the this is has a step height. So this is six and three quarters here, and then this one right here is going to be uh, ten inches. So the step is actually ten inches long. Um, and like I said, the height is about six and three quarters. Actually, I'm this is probably six and seven eighths. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a square, just like this, and you want the height. You buy these, you buy these at any, uh, a lot of like Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. You buy them and they slide on here. So this one is for steps, we're going to put it right at 10 inches there. Then you tighten it just like that. And this one here, we just measured it. I thought it was six and three quarter, but actually six and seven eighths. So you want to put it right there. It's a six and seven eighths mark. So, let's see, you want to go. Um, so now you got a, a fresh piece of wood here. Now the bottom angle, I already drew that on, but you can you can make that whatever you want. But you're going to want to uh, your first step. You can see it catches right there. Um, and I already cheated, I already started this one. So, but if you if you don't have it the right length, you can, um, you're just gonna, this is just a 90 degree angle. This is gonna be the very front of your steps on the bottom. You're gonna put a board here uh, so you don't kick your foot through. This is what you're gonna stand on, this is the kick plate. But uh, you just want a 90 degree angle here from here. And the important thing is, these ones are making six inches tall. Well, five and seven eighths, whatever. The reason why this, all the rest of them are going to be six inches tall, or six and seven eighths, like that. It's six and seven eighths. The reason being is when you step up here, you you got your foot. Um, your foot's going to step. If you look at this, the stringer here, you're going to have your foot standing right here. But well, when you step up, you got wood on top of this, about an inch taller. So this first step has to be one inch shorter than all the rest of the steps. Because when you have here, the decking board is going to bring it up one inch. Then you're measuring up to here, well that makes this one inch shorter. But you got another decking board, so that brings it up an inch. So the very first step has to be one inch shorter than all the rest. But after that, then you just start counting. And you, you just uh, slide on the piece of wood till these catch. Well, 
But yeah, these little, uh, these are for steps. If you go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, you'll find them. And then you just keep count how many steps you want. How many steps are doing? One, two, three, four, five. So this is my last one. So I'm actually not gonna trace it up like that. Well, I could. I could, and all I'm gonna do here is I just want this line. I'm gonna actually extend this line like this. Just like that. This is what's actually gonna mount up against the deck. Um, and you're gonna have, I'm gonna cut out the same thing that's right there. So here you got two different ways to uh, make your stringers. The other one's obviously much faster, but if you don't have the old stringer, build a new deck, then this is what you gotta do. Now important, hey, that's a whole nother video, but uh, they gotta have a certain, the deck, you need to have about at least 10, 10 inches wide, and uh, you can have the step anywhere from four to four to eight inches tall if it's uh, residential. Um, so if you have like a, if you have like a, 24 inch deck uh, is it's 24 inches tall and you want to have four steps then you divide 24 by four and you get a six inch step and so then you would set this to six inches and you still want the length at 10 you're going to want to probably stay 10 on all of them but in, in, in just measure the height then you can figure but you don't ever want to step taller than eight inches tall so there you have it